I believe catching your own food and cooking it at home is one of life's greatest pleasures. And that's what we're gonna do today. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Twine. And as you saw, we're gonna be frying some fish. This is a fish I've never had before. It's called a black belly rose fish. So I'm very excited. I've been told it tastes like lobster and the texture is kind of in between a lobster and scallop. So I'm super excited for that. And we're gonna be making Vietnamese summer rolls with our fried fish alongside one of my all time favorite Vietnamese sauces, Mum Nam. Now it will look scary, but I guarantee you it's gonna be one of the most delicious sauces you've ever had. All right, and before we get started, go ahead, smash the like button down below. It looks just like this and subscribe. Also hit the notification bell. It lets you know every time I have a new video up. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do this. And here is our black belly rose fish. Now this fish usually gets up to about two pounds, but I was fortunate enough to catch one that was about three and a half, close to four. And what we're gonna do here after I scaled and gutted and gilled it, is I'm gonna score this into a diamond pattern. That way when we fry it and when we're about to roll our summer rolls, the meat will flake off really easily in nice big chunks. The seasoning of this fish will be really simple. Just kosher salt and some Shaoxing wine. If you don't have it, definitely go to your local Asian grocery store and go get some. This helps give this fish a really nice flavor. And I'm going to be coating this fish with potato starch. Now, pro tip, you see what I'm doing here? I'm working the flour or the starch into the fish. Whenever you touch fish, make sure you go in the same direction as the spines. That way you avoid stabbing yourself in the fingers. We'll let this fish sit here and hang out and marinate while we make our sauce, our mum name. All right, and as usual, all the ingredients will be listed in the description box down below. So I have, here you saw some pineapple, I have kefir lime leaves, sugar, lime juice, garlic, chilies, fish sauce, and here is the mum name. Now this is exactly the same ingredients as fish sauce, but everything is blended up inside, so it makes a really nice thick sauce. Don't worry, don't be scared. It sounds worse than it really is, but I guarantee you, you try this sauce, you will love it. And if you've never worked with lemongrass before, you wanna only use the white parts, and then you saw the little woody stem, you wanna cut just below that. And then here, all I'm doing is chopping up into little pieces, because everything is gonna go into the blender. Now, traditionally, people use a mortar and pestle, but this is so much faster and you don't get the fibrous chunks of the lemongrass and the kefir lime leaves. And as you see here, I'm just putting everything into the blender. Oh, I also did add about a tablespoon of fish, fish sauce. And then when you start your sauce, start off slowly and work your way up to high speed. What you're looking for is a really nice consistency as you see here. Everything is blitzed together and we're gonna taste this and see if it needs a little adjustment and I found it needs a little bit more sugar. And then we're gonna take our remaining 150 grams of pineapple. What we're doing here is just a light pulse because you want the chunks. Now, if you wanna add all your chilies into the sauce at this moment, you can do that. But I feel that everyone eats or handles spice on different levels, so I chop it up and then everyone can add as little or as much chilies to their bowl as they prefer. And here you go, the sauce, it doesn't look that beautiful, but it's insanely delicious. All right, and that's it for the prep. Now we're gonna go heat up some oil. I have some canola oil in a wok. I'm gonna heat it up to about 370, 375. And all you have to do is just gently slide your fish into the oil and let this fry for about seven to 10 minutes. And because we scored this fish really deep, it's not going to take very long to cook. My mouth is watering right now. This fish is absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait for us to start rolling these summer rolls. I have inside some mixed greens, cucumber, mint, cilantro, rice vermicelli. You just cook that to the package instructions and our delicious mum name. And as everything that I fry on this channel, I like to rest it onto a wire rack. Let the oil drain and let's bring this inside and start eating. This is the black belly rose fish. It smells Oh, it smells like fried shrimp, like in a good way, fried shrimp or fried lobster. Oh man, check out this fish and this beautiful golden color. 
Uh, as you can see, all I did was add some Shaoxing wine, some salt, and some potato starch to it. And holy wow, man. All right, let me show you. Let me show you the spread of what we're working here. And this is a standard summer roll spread. We have some mixed greens, cilantro, mint, cucumber, some chilies, your rice vermicelli, like I said earlier, just cook according to your package instructions, the mum name, and then our beautiful black belly rose fish. I am very excited to try this. So here is some rice paper. It comes dried just like so. Dip it in some hot water, which I have in a bowl over here on the side. And then you're just gonna put this on a plate. And what it's doing right now, it's, it's hydrating, so you don't have to worry about it. And I like to always leave a little bit hanging off the edge of the plate, so that way when I'm rolling, it, I have something to grab onto, so I'm not ripping the paper. Oh, rice paper down, noodles down, now you can put whatever you want in there. I have some spring mix right here. Got to get our greens in. A little bit of cucumber for crunch. I love adding cilantro. And then some mint leaves. It's really refreshing. In Vietnamese food, you'll see a lot of uh, noodle salads or rice dishes um, with fresh herbs on the side just like this. The protein of our rolls, all we're gonna do is just, now the reason why I scored it in a diamond shape is just so you can just go in there like this and just rip off a chunk, just like that. Look at this white flaky, oh man, that is gorgeous. All right, so here is the black belly Rose fish, I am very excited to try this. Wow. Hold on a second, something just happened. If you look at this meat, really, oops, look at this meat, really flaky. And you can see it's really moist. It has a texture of, it has a texture of perfectly cooked lobster. <laughs> I'm okay with just eating the fish, but wow. I don't know if you can buy this in the store. I've never seen it. And look at, this big chunk again, guys, look at that. You can see how juicy it is. Okay, let's make this, let's make this roll. And the skin is really crispy. The potato starch really helps it crisp up very, very nicely. This is definitely my new favorite fish. Holy, wow. Start rolling it forward, Roll the, fold the sides in and just slowly roll it forward and then you end up with something like that all encased inside you have your vermicelli rice noodles you have your mixed greens your cilantro mint cucumber you know what i gotta shut up because i have to eat this oh man just dip like this and <laughs> That is so good. All right, look at that. Mm. I have to take a moment. This is unreal. It has the texture of sea bass had baby with a lobster. That's the texture. This is my new favorite fish, hands down. There's nothing close to this, nothing. I am now an obsessed fisherman. 
for this fish. All right, guys, I'm, I'm just going to do bad things to this, so I'm going to have to let you guys go right now. But thank you again for joining me. Black belly rose fish. Amazing. Guys, thank you so much for spending time with me. Before you guys go, please go ahead, smash the like button down below, help the YouTube algorithm, subscribe, and also click the notification bell. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves, and as always, peace.